There was a time when you would write like this. And this. And this. And this. And this. What? What happened? Yes, you have just seen a bot writing by itself. R. P. A. Or robotic process automation did it. In every human enterprise, someone is responsible for repetitive work. Tedious. Repetitive. Boring. re ped a -tiv. These repetitive activities require a lot of concentration over long periods of time. Always carrying out the same tasks over and over, again and again. At the same time, the time available for more important tasks is getting smaller and smaller. For that reason, in the era of Industry 4.0, we open the door for the bots to automate those repetitive processes. Through very specialized software, we allow a bot to coordinate and optimize the processes of isolated software solutions which previously existed without communicating with each other. These bots are able to read information, retrieve data, prepare documents and send them without human intervention. You can give them a document, ask them to read a section, transform the data into a text chain and send this information by email. Every day, multiple times, with no mistakes. This allows the employees to focus their energies on high value-added tasks whilst letting the bots do what they do best tirelessly reproduce a set of instructions without distractions and mistakes. Is this the beginning of the end of human labor? No. And if you don't believe me, let's ask Garry Kasparov, the 13th world chess champion and probably the best human player in history. At the end of the 90s, Garry put humanity on his shoulders in the challenge of the century. Deep Blue, led by IBM, challenged the world champion to a chess match. Human versus machine. The first match in 96 was won by Gary. The rematch in 97, well, it was different. However, Gary continued to play chess. He was the world champion until the year 2000. On the relationship between humans and machines, Gary is very optimistic. In his book Deep Thinking, he tells us, I have argued that our technology can make us more human by freeing us to be more creative. We have other qualities the machines cannot match. They have instructions while we have purpose. If we stop dreaming big dreams, if we stop looking for a greater purpose, then we may as well be machines ourselves. To the fear that machines will take our work, there is an answer. For centuries, we did manual, repetitive and monotonous work we took work away from the robot. It is time for everyone to do their job to the best of their abilities.